वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विथ सम बेसिक क्वेश्चन एंड देन गो इन डिटेल फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज आई सी एच क्यू नाइन गाइडलाइन एंड वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट आई सी एच क्यू नाइन गाइडलाइन प्रोवाइड्स ए फ्रेमवर्क फॉर क्वालिटी रिस्क मैनेजमेंट दैट इज क्यू आर एम इन दी फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री एन्श्योरिंग सिस्टमेटिक आइडेंटिफिकेशन असेसमेंट एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ रिस्क टू प्रोडक्ट क्वालिटी क्वेश्चन अबाउट रिसेंट अपडेट्स वॉट इज मे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री अपडेट In May 2023, the Food and Drug Administration, that is FDA, released a revised version of the guidelines called Q9R1 for quality risk management, which addresses issues such as product variability risk and clarity on risk-based decision making. Basic and important: What is definition of risk as per ICHQ9? ICHQ9 defines risk as the combination of the probability of the occurrence of harm and the severity of that harm. What is definition of quality risk management as per ICHQ9? QRM is defined as a systematic process for the assessment, control, communication and review of risk to the quality of medicinal drug product across the product life cycle. Very important question what is systematic approach to risk assessment as per ICHQ9 the guideline outlines a systematic approach to risk management including step 1 risk assessment here we identify the potential risk and evaluate their impact and likelihood step 2 risk control here we implement the measures to mitigate or eliminate identified risk third step risk communication here we share the information about risk and risk management strategies with various stakeholders fourth very important step risk review here we continuously review and update the risk assessments and risk management strategies what is definition of severity as per ICHQ9 severity is defined as a measure of the possible consequences of a hazard What is application scope of ICHQ9? It can be applied to different aspects of pharmaceutical quality, including development, manufacturing, distribution, and inspection and submission or review processes. It can be made applicable throughout the life cycle of product. What are the two main principles of QRM as per ICHQ9? Two primary principles of quality risk management are first. the assessment of the risk to quality should be based on the scientific knowledge and ultimately linked to protection of the patient secondly the extent of effort formality and documentation of quality risk management process should be proportionate to the level of risk one more very important question what is overview of typical quality risk management process typical quality risk management process as per ICH Q9 can be divided broadly into four parts first initiate quality risk management process second risk assessment which includes risk identification risk analysis and risk evaluation third part risk control here it includes risk reduction and risk acceptance fourth part risk review here we review the events risk communication shall be performed intermediately or in between as applicable and risk management tools shall be used as and when required What are the steps for initiating QRM process as per ICH Q9? Step 1: Define the problem and risk question including relevant assumptions identifying the potential for risk. Step 2: Assemble background information and data on the potential hazard or human health impact relevant to the risk assessment. Step 3: Identify a leader and necessary resources. Step 4: Specify a timeline, deliverables and appropriate level of decision making for the risk management process. What are the three fundamental questions that should be asked during risk assessment process as per ICH Q9? Three fundamental questions are often helpful during risk assessment are question 1 what might go wrong question 2 what is likelihood or probability it will go wrong and question 3 what are the consequences or severity what is risk identification as per ICH Q9 risk identification is a systematic use of information to detect hazards related to the risk question or problem description 
risk identification addresses the what might go wrong question including identifying potential consequences what is risk analysis as per ishq9 risk analysis is the estimation of the risk associated with the identified hazards it is the qualitative or quantitative process of linking the likelihood of occurrence and severity of harms what is risk evaluation as per ishq9 risk evaluation compares the identified and analyzed risk against established risk criteria risk evaluations consider the strength of evidence for all three of the fundamental questions one basic question which qualitative terms ishq9 recommends to express risk as per ishq9 risk can be expressed using qualitative descriptions such as high medium or low what techniques are recommended for risk assessment in ishq9 techniques includes failure mode effect analysis that is fmea fault tree analysis that is fta and hazard analysis and critical control points that is hacp how does ishq9 define risk communication risk communication is the sharing of information about risk and risk management between decision makers and other stakeholders what is risk review according to ishq9 according to ishq9 risk review involves the ongoing monitoring and review of risk management activities to ensure that risk are controlled effectively over time what is risk based decision making as per ishq9 ishq9 promotes risk based decision making by recommending that decisions be made based on the probability and impact of risk and that higher risk receive more attention and resources one more important question on which questions risk control process should focus question number 1 is the risk above an acceptable level question number 2 what can be done to reduce or eliminate risk question number 3 what is appropriate balance among benefits risk and resources question number 4 are new risk introduced as a result of the identified risk being controlled as per ishq9 which tools are considered as a part of integrated quality management documentation here is the list of seven qms tools that should be considered as a part of integrated quality management documentation last and very important question what are the other guidelines that are referred for quality risk management in pharmaceutical industry iso 14971 fds guidance for industry ugmp annex 20 who trs 981 annex 2 and pix guideline are the important guidelines that should be referred for quality risk management in pharmaceutical industry Don't forget to like comment and share subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry